the characters, um, over time, the character's vessel has deteriorated quite a bit. <laughs> A lot, it's a lot more tired. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so when, when, I, when I first, uh, this is unusual. We don't usually get so many questions about the show. This is exciting. <laughs> um, when I first started, um, the character was like, he was, a, he was a soldier of God. He was a warrior and he would, t he, you know, he was always talking about his battalion. And he was very fierce and very threatening and very commanding. And then over time, and I think this often happens with long running characters on shows, the writers started to write the character toward what I did well or convincingly. And so the character morphed into being this socially awkward nerd. Yeah! With, with poor people skills. <laughs> Which really is not how we started at all. <laughs> the other thing that I, that, I, that I love about the canon on the show is that I, so I was the first angel, okay? So <laughs> that means that I sort of get to establish certain ground rules for how angels are on the show. And I created this character that was, it was out of place, a fish out of water, very, very nerdy. Yeah. Didn't understand any kind of human emotion whatsoever. And then all of the subsequent angels came on the show and they just acted like normal people. <laughs> and so suddenly I was just the damaged angel. <laughs> I was establishing how angels behave. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I feel like I'm just getting angry today for some reason. <laughs> 